Hello, everybody. Debrix here. Back with another video. Video today, we're reviewing the seven six one four one, the Thanos Mac. Comes with one hundred fifty two pieces. Comes with one minifigure and a mech build. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so starting off with the mech build, as you can see here, it's a really nice build. Structure has nice gold pieces. And you do have a couple of stickers. It's not as much as some sets, but you still have a lot of stickers. For a $10 set, you have Drum Liker Gold right here. I think LEGO got rid of it. I'm not sure entirely, but the paint is starting to smudge on this. More up here. Then you have a sticker right here. Sticker right here. Sticker right here, and the sticker on the other side. You mean you have a print for his torso. You got this nice Infinity Gauntlet build, and in my opinion, it's a pretty nice build, especially for a mech sized. All the fingers are poseable. You got all the stones on there too. And here's a print right here. It's, it's mine's slightly misprinted, but it's fine. You got some gold on there too. For the articulation, I'm just going to move one arm and one leg. You can move this arm 360. Mine's kind of loose because, you know, this is an older set. Then your arm up and back this much. And the hand can swivel. What? Give me a sec. This hand can swivel 360. Sorry, these things are old, so it's not going to work to the best capability. But, yeah. Well, some do, but not all of them. Okay, now foot can go out you can have a waist swivel legs can go out this much bend at the knee and kind of sw and swivel at the foot bend it back this much right here and yeah that's basically it for the mac let's move on to the minifigure i also should mention you do get drum lacquer gold cheese slopes in this set all right, so starting off with the minifigure, as you can see here, he's completely a reuse. He used to be exclusive in 2020, like the first half. Then he started being reused in 2021 and the 2021 advent calendar or 2020 summer sets. I really can't tell. But yeah, here's his back print. Everything is common on this figure, except for the helmet and the legs. The helmet comes in like two to three sets. The torso only comes in two sets, same with the head. Or two to three sets. And the legs are exclusive to this figure. You get gold hands and a blue arm. Nice back detailing. But yeah, I mean, it's nothing much. You do get nice ab prints too. But yeah, let's move on to the conclusion and the ratings. Alright, so how would I rate this out of 10? I'd say about... Considering that only the legs of a minifigure are exclusive nowadays. I'd say about... Uh, 7 out of 10. It's still a good set. Minifigure is no longer exclusive except for the legs, which is fine. Legs should be easy to find because this is a $10 set at the time. It came back in two years ago. But yeah, I would recommend this set if you're a Marvel collector. I just recently got into Marvel, so yeah. But yeah, I would highly recommend it if you're a Marvel collector. If you're just like an average person who is uh, just an average collector... Well, not really average, just like, a, you know, like, who doesn't collect everything. I would say you can skip out on this one, because I'm pretty sure this is retired. If you see it at a Walmart, I'd say pick it up, or Target, pick it up, because this thing's retired, I'm pretty sure. But, yeah. I think that's basically it. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.